Memphis Grizzlies. Yeah, yeah. Get stuff. Bring it. Hey. against the Memphis Grizzlies. And for Memphis, what a year they're having. They've run up the best record in the NBA with some absolutely flawless performances. They've been a fun team to watch over the first half of the season. And Jay in action here, one of the huge talents and really one of the few who remained in college for a number of years. Yeah, he had the ability to make the jump after one year, but he stayed true to himself and waited until he felt he was ready. Well, you know, that was a huge risk, you know, staying in college. Injury, you know, team not performing well, you not performing well. But sometimes that drops your value, but it, it worked out for him. Uh, best to him, brother. Jay, way to go. That wraps it up for here. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you later. An air of confidence to the Suns as they arrived earlier today. Playing in front of their home fans always puts a pounce in your step. And the game arrival sponsored by Express. Dressed like a pro. A beautiful day as it usually is here in Phoenix. Such a dramatic setting here in the Arizona Desert. Hello and thanks for joining us folks for this midweek NBA action on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Doris Burke. Also joining us from the sidelines, David Aldridge. And a quick look here at some of the numbers for him. And in the last five games, he's made a bunch of hustle plays on the glass more than anywhere else. His rebounding totals in these games shows a dramatic increase from his numbers during the rest of the season. Now, look at Memphis's starting group. We've got Morant, Jackson is out there with Clark, and there's Iguodala. And for the Suns, Shara Jake at the four and the five. Rubio and Johnson bearing up in the backcourt. And it's Oubre in at the three, the small four. Conference rivals in this one, Doris, a regular season game that will likely have that uh, postseason feel. And we are the beneficiaries of what could be a playoff preview. You never know, obviously, how things are going to shake out in terms of seeding. What we know unequivocally are these two rivals are prepared to play in what we would consider not just any regular season game, perhaps a little more on the line than you might expect. So, for Phoenix, their last game a loss to the Timberwolves. Guys, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure it out, though. If you're going to shoot in the low 30s, you're going to end up losing a lot of games. Yeah, we're not having for their offense. We saw Spark here and there, but their main scores just couldn't stay hot. Now, here's Rubio. Following the miss by John Morant. Rubio, the pass to Aiton. Down to five on the shot clock. Takes it out to Rubio. Over to Iguodala. Rubio misses. Now here's Morant. Tight defense on him. And finished off by Morant. And at 6-3, Morant sure can fly. Love him when he gets up and throws it down. And just about a minute into the first quarter. Charge outside. And it's blocked. Out of bounds. Phoenix will retain possession. Johnson outside. The pass to Aiton. Suns moving the ball around. Lock at six. Ball. A beast defensively. Clark's reach and hot motor is what makes him effective at blocking shots. At the elbow is Jackson. So first quarter just over a minute and a half in. And here's Iguodala outside. And it's Clark with the jam. And able to pad his stats a little bit there on that play. The board 
and the Bucs. And you know, Greg, that'll put him in the good graces of that coaching staff, too. My goodness. And so here's Phoenix. Grizzlies making the shot. Rubio with it. Hurted now by Jackson. Rubio outside. Pass to Oubre. Now here's he. He's coming closely. Yeah, slow start right now. Five straight misses to get this one going. Here's Iguodala and the layup fall. Well, you love that Andre Iguodala seems to relish an opportunity to have contact and have to finish anyway. And first time out of the game called for Phoenix. Well, the Suns, of course, have the league's longest playoff drought. Nine straight seasons of going on vacation early. And think about it, that's despite picking at the top of the draft year after year. And now, in the first half of December, more games under our belt. The power rankings starting to take shape. You look at the Timberwolves. They couldn't hold their position this week, but remain in the top ten. And checking out the Grizzlies, they're just so locked in right now. It doesn't matter who they're playing. I know it's still early in the season, but they may turn out to be the team to beat. Now, here's Oubre. He's coming off a 16-point game against Minnesota. I thought his physicality was crucial, too. You know, he kept the defense on their toes and repeatedly got to the free throw line. Doors to the Suns going forward. They can't help but they play in the always difficult Western Conference. That's right. The Western Conference is so strong at the top and it's strong at the bottom as well. You know, you think about it, teams that didn't make the playoffs last year, Dallas, Sacramento, Minnesota, all of those teams are on the upswing. So how do the Suns eventually climb that ladder? Memphis shooting their first free throws tonight. The first trip to the stripe in this one. Rubio. 
and he's still scoreless so far in this one. He feeds it to Sharks, and they get it, and it's good on the way in. Well, Ricky Rubio has defined point guard vision. He can see the floor so beautifully. Jackson, and that one clearly foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. That one on eight. The load management strategy, Doris. Should coaches do it along the way as opposed to waiting until the last, say, quarter or third of the season? Well, Kev, I think you can look to the San Antonio Spurs, who I think were the first to really look hard at what we would now describe as load management. And I think the one thing is you're trying to just make sure guys are prepared for the most important point of the season. You've got to win enough to get in the playoffs and be positioned well, but your guys have also, also have to be healthy at the end of the year. And the first one drops. Aaron Baines is checked in for Phoenix. And so Jackson nails both of them. And the first task for Monty Williams is going to be retooling this offense. Plenty of offensive talent here. The team has underperformed on that end for years. And one of the things he wants to implement, Greg, Monty Williams wants to utilize more movement, right? He has mentioned a style similar to what they ran while he was with the Spurs organization. So don't expect to see any stagnant bodies on the offensive end this year. And the way he was able to reach out towards that release had an impact. Well, no question, all through that shot. And most of the time, that's just as good as blocking it. Building up a big early lead, they have taken charge of this game. And they've been doing it largely at the offensive end, Greg. Yeah, same.